Please welcome Dave McClure. All right, so the idea is to keep this as simple as possible. There are five steps. There's an acronym, it's called R. I would like you to all turn to your partner next to you, do your best Captain Jack Sparrow impression. Please join me in saying, R. All right, that's not bad. We'll do that once at the end. All right, so A, acquisition, where users come from. Activation, a happy first experience. Retention, they come back. Referral, they tell other people. Revenue, you make money. That's the five things that you want to think about. Got it? That's it. I can stop right now. Okay, ready? All right, so very complicated graph. We'll walk through this in a little bit steps, but acquisition, lots of different channels where I get users who come from widgets, SEO, SEM, PR, traditional uh, campaigns and contests, biz dev, blogs and affiliates, these days Facebook, lots of different ways to pull those things in. What's important? What are high volume channels? What are low cost channels? And what are best performing conversion channels? I'll talk about that later, but those are the three things to think about. High volume channels are great, but low volume channels are good if they're low cost. Okay, activation first, happy user experience. Activation criteria, I would say 10 to 30 plus seconds on the site, two or three page views, three clicks. You can define it how you want, but you're using product features on the site to get people to engage and have a happy first visit. Main thing is don't be too smart, do lots of A-B tests and landing pages. Third thing, retention, how do you get them to come back? Email, probably the simplest way, blogs or RSS also form of that. Emails, make them automated. Do lifecycle emails from when they join or when they come, plus three, plus seven, plus 30 days. Uh, other stuff on that slide, all right. Referrals, don't try and do viral marketing campaign until your product doesn't suck. Because what will happen is people will tell other people that your product sucks, so don't do that. <laughs> do selective qualitative testing to figure out if you're an eight out of 10 or better, and then start to do viral marketing. Revenue, I have no fucking idea. Figure out how to make money with your product. That's your job. All right, acquisition, activation, retention, referral, revenue. Say it one more time. Arr! Very good. I won't read the rest of that shit. Uh, next slide. Yes, uh, this is going to be about three things to remember if you're in the marketing function. The marketing hat, best performing percentage wise, largest volume, lowest cost. Those are the important things to remember if you're a marketer, why you choose different marketing channels. Those are the three things to think about. Ways that you would be measuring those things. This will come up next, hopefully. Uh, measuring components, audience segment. So young women, regional metro, older singles. Like what are the audiences you're, you're coming from? The different channel sources, campaign themes you might use in terms of like find a job, learn to cook, landing page, copying graphics. Not that important to remember the first three points. All right, so if you were to build a dashboard of these things, here would be the first things. Acquisition focus. People that visit the site, 100% conversion, everybody who comes to your site is on your site. Figure out a value, guess at it. Acquisition, a lot of things, people bounce off your site because they didn't mean to come there. Don't measure those folks, those aren't the people that you're really looking at. Activation, happy first visit, what does that mean? X number of pages, Y seconds, Z clicks. Things that you would like to get, email, blog, RSS sign up, or an account profile sign up. Figure again what those percentages are, focus on getting that to happen. Next stage, this slide fucked up, but retention. So how do I get to get people to come back, measure important criteria, are email open rates and RSS open rates or click-throughs. And then a rough metric for repeat visits, maybe three visits in the first 30 days. Again, choose a rough metric for what you think retention behavior is and then measure it. Uh, this should be the fourth slide that was previously about four uh, referral metrics. So try and find out the people who are at least referring other people to your site. And then also, if you can, measure the people who actively do something when they refer. So massive referrers are not as pointing as people who do refer and those people then join. Lastly, revenue. So two things to measure. Minimum revenue and then break even revenue. So if you can get those two metrics down, those are important things to kind of figure out. All of this forms a sample dashboard that you could look at um, from a marketing perspective. What are you trying to do? You're trying to design multiple marketing channels that work for high volume, high conversion, or low cost, but you're trying to measure deeper down the conversion funnel. So you're not measuring effectiveness at the top when they come to the site, you're measuring how effective they are at the lower levels of conversion. If you're in product, don't just build shitloads of features. That's wrong. Look at your measurement, your conversion channel, your hypothetical way that people are successful. Spend 80% of your time tweaking features, 20% of your time doing new feature development. A, B, test a shitload. Measure for conversion improvement. Rinse and repeat. If you're the founder or CEO, less, not more. This is not about doing shitloads of metrics. Choose five metrics if you can. 10, certainly no more than that. Measure and iterate. Focus on those conversion improvement boards. Most important is hypothesize a customer life cycle, right? That's your job is to guess what you think people are gonna do, measure against that. Different types of metrics, 
quantitative, qualitative, comparative, and competitive. If you can figure out a tool that helps you give you some information in each of those categories, that's really helpful. And I'm done. Thank you. Woo!